Good morning, guys. Today, I wanted to go shopping. Oh, so good. That's like a really, really nice, like, hydrating. I think this is so friggin' cool. <sighs> So good like good morning guys and welcome back to another weekly vlog i'm gonna start off this week by showing you some new and pieces that i have in my wardrobe as i know you guys love seeing what i have and i love showing you and it's autumn so it's always time for new fresh things so let's get into it most of it is actually pr so I just wanted to show you some really 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 nice pieces first is from dior and one like this box how beautiful is this like it is so pretty i feel like you can't see even reflection but it's just like this gorgeous gorgeous gold color basically this like clutch this gold clutch with lipsticks inside and they release it every christmas uh, a new style of clutch and i just think it's so nice and honestly it's a really great way to get a piece from dior um, for such a good price. This is around £270 and it is literally like a full on clutch and you can wear it um, with a strap as well but it comes with three gorgeous lipsticks. They are like, these are like the inserted refillable ones and then it comes with one like proper lipstick. They're also a really, really nice shade. They're really nice shades. They have like, they're really nice mattes and I wore one the other day and it feels really, really smooth on your lips. I feel like right now my lips are really really dry and I'm not even kidding I feel like some lip products like lip balms make your lips dry out even more like I was using a new one and it's literally destroyed my lips so now I'm just going back to my trusty Carmex I feel like you cannot go wrong with like the original Carmex in the pot I don't like the flavored squeezy ones I only like the one in the pot um, and it literally works every time to like heal my lips anything else or anything else that I've tried up till now it just doesn't work but isn't that such a nice nude color I really like that I'm gonna keep that out so I make sure to use it a couple of things I want to show you are two pairs of shoes that I got I should not be touching the bottom of those because they have been worn outside um, but these are from a brand called Alohas and I really like that stuff I think their shoes are really good quality for the price um, and these are just some really cute like brown Mary Janes um, as soon as my I got these and my boyfriend saw them on the floor, he's like, what the hell are those? Um, so he does not approve of the Mary Jane style um, shoot, but that's okay. Because I said, why would I take fashion advice from you? And you're not the one having to wear them, so it's fine. And the next pair of Aloha's I got were these, which I think are so chic. Like, I don't really have a block heel, and I like how they're pointy as well. I just think they look really, really nice, especially coming into like... Or in autumn and winter i think these were just like a pair of jeans or with a dress on a night out not like i go out to places that wear heels but i think this would be really cute and they also look very very comfortable and i really like their leather it's like really really nice and smooth today i'm going to go at four o'clock to get my nails done which i can't wait because these are like three weeks old i think um and they they're okay i always go for pale colors because i feel like when they chip it's not so obvious but one like fully broke off yesterday so i'm like okay it's time it's time and i really want to go like a really nice brown or like a burgundy i'm gonna see what colors they have but i'm feeling i want to go full autumn like i said i normally like to go like really pale because like if it chips or anything you just don't really notice it but now i just want to go all out i do like burgundy i'll see if they have a nice one because i feel like you need to get the right color brown and you also need to get the quite right color burgundy otherwise it just is not the vibe i'm just about to head out i've just gotten ready so i want to show you my ootd it's kind of inspired by like a snowflake <laughs> i'm feeling very snowflakey right now i've got this gorgeous long coat on let me go all the way here can you see it um, let me show you the mirror as well. I've got this gorgeous long coat on from D Jane and Tash. They've got really, really nice coats if you're looking to splurge. Actually, I think their prices are quite reasonable and they feel super luxurious. Oh, I got this last year. I just got all my coats out again for winter. They were stored at my nan's house. So I've got access to all of them again, which I'm really happy about. Um, I had coats, of course, I didn't remember I even had, but I was looking for this one. But I find it's actually quite hard to find like a luxurious looking white coat on the high street. Some look okay, but I find I had one before and it looked quite cheap. But this is just absolutely gorgeous. And my 
rib neck. My roll neck is from Rails. Again, super cozy and warm. And these trousers from Marks and Spencers. Guys, I must say, Marks and Spencers trousers fit me so nicely. These are my like my own size, size eight, and they just fit so so well. I have a couple of pairs from them, and they're so comfy, and they fit like a glove. So very pleased. I'll leave everything linked down below. And these boots are from YSL. I've had these for. I think a year or so, two years maybe. Um, they're quite comfy to walk in, so I've just put these on. Normally I'd wear a heeled boot, but I am walking around, so I don't want to. So let's go fix these nails, and I also have a meeting to go to. So I'll see you guys when I'm out. Good evening guys, so I just got home and quickly changed and I got my nails done. They're like this, really wanted that like red wine color. I think it's so nice autumn, so I'm very pleased with them. Um... Hi guys, so I was in the middle of filming and my camera got full, the memory got full, so I didn't have time to leave stuff, so I, I ran out. Now I'm in the taxi to an event. I'm going to a dinner with Rails, which I'm excited for. It's in Hackney and it's in like an old, in like a fish and chip shop, I think, because it's kind of like their city collection, so that's kind of like, they're going for like the full British theme. I'm super excited. I feel like it's gonna be really, really cute. I would show you what I'm wearing, but obviously I'm sat down, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous red, red, brown satin dress. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to see everyone there. Um, I wanted to show my nails again. They're like this really nice burgundy color, like I was saying before I got cut off. Um, but yeah, absolutely obsessed. I feel like I'm not used to the dark color on my nails right now because I haven't had them dark in like, since like probably last Christmas or like something around then. Um, I've just had like really light beige colors, but I really, really like it. So I will see you guys at the event. Good morning guys. Day I wanted to go shopping. I honestly have not been in person shopping for the longest time. I don't really go because I don't really like it. I feel like it's often really really busy. I just get so overwhelmed. <laughs> so much going on and then I end up not buying anything and I also like to go shopping alone so if I'm with other people or like with my boyfriend I just never end up getting anything because I'm just like I like to be alone I like to take my time but today I thought I because I haven't been in the shops for so long I thought that today I would go around the shops and show you guys what there is I really want to go to Cos, Massimo Duty, Arquette you know the drill those kind of ones um because I always feel like going into the stores does give me some nice inspiration and if you guys don't have access to go into the store so easily then I thought it would be nice for me to show you what's inside. I'm not necessarily looking to buy anything in particular but I always just like to have a little mooch around and also try on some things that I, because the thing is I have a, my autumn wardrobe, if you guys follow me, it's very big so I have a lot of stuff and sometimes the stores every season release stuff similar to what I already have but you guys may not have that so I want to try on things that I would buy if I already didn't have something extremely similar to just to give you guys some inspo and to show you what's in the stores as well. thought that'd be really nice. Also while we're on the topic of new bits I want to show you my new earrings that I got from Massimo Duty. I got these while I was in Mallorca about two weeks ago and I love them. I love wearing them with like a grey jumper because I really feel like they just jazz up an outfit. I'm just wearing jeans and this jumper from Bash and I just feel like it really adds a nice little touch. As always, I'll leave everything linked in the description box down below as well as my other socials. So let's go. So before I go, I literally just opened this box from Clinique and it has their new lipstick in. Well, it's called like almost a lipstick or something and I just used it and it feels so soft. I'm wearing it right now and I like how natural it is. I don't have any lip liner on with it, but it just feels like a really, really nice like hydrating um, gloss. It's not too glossy though and it's not too lipsticky. So they're right. It is almost a lipstick, but not quite. This is the shade Pink Honey 44, and I feel like it's a really nice natural color for me. Guys, I keep feeling this jumper is like really fluffy, and I keep feeling the fluff like everywhere on my face. It's quite bothering me. But anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbering on, and we're gonna go to the stores. I think the first one that I'm gonna go into will be Cos. 
feel like Costaway is good. Anyway, I want to say I'm going to be shopping on Regent Street. If you aren't from London and you hear pe and people tell you to go to Oxford Street, don't believe them. <laughs> Oxford Street is okay. Oxford Street's like that, and then Regent Street's like that. They are right next to each other, but I would highly recommend going to Regent Street instead. Oxford Street is not very nice anymore. The stores are not very good. I mean, obviously they have the Zara and H and M, but you also have that on Regent Street. Um, I think Regent Street is much nicer curated. It's a nicer street to walk around. It's nice people around there. Um, like I said, they are literally next door, but I would definitely recommend shopping on Regent Street as opposed to Oxford Street. They just have Massimo Duty, Koss, Arcat, and more like mid-luxury brands. Um, okay, so let's go. So starting at Koss, Koss have the nicest view of Regent Street. I think it's so, so pretty, but I had a little browse through and picked out my favorites. I have seen this coat online so many times and I absolutely love it. I think it is so chic and I know cape coats are very, very trendy right now, um, but this one can also, you can detach the scarf on it, which I really, really like. Um, and I just absolutely love this pinstripes and it's navy. I think it's very trendy because of the scarf, but I think it's also so timeless and this is something you'll get so much wear out of and it was so much material. It was really, really heavy and felt such good quality and this is around £250. I would take your usual size or size down because it does come up quite large, but it's so, so chic. The next thing I tried on, I actually have this at home, but I wanted to insert it in the shopping vlog. Um, I have the coat, but I really wanted to try it with the matching trousers. I absolutely love the coat. I think the shoulder padding is great. I didn't really love it with the matching trousers. I would prefer if the trousers were a bit baggier, if I was honest. Um, I don't really like how tight they are. But overall, I absolutely love, love, love the coat. Like I said, I already have it, so... I'm a big fan. The next thing I tried on is another thing I already have, but I wanted to show you guys again, is this gorgeous cable knit brown jumper. I absolutely love chunky cable knit for autumn. I just think it's so, so chic. I'll insert a picture of how I styled it as well because I loved the outfit and I think you guys did too when I posted on my Instagram. Um, I am wearing a size small, so I definitely recommend to take your own size because it does come up a little bit baggy, especially on the arms. The next combination I absolutely love. So it's not a set, it's a cropped cardigan and I paired it with the matching scarf because it's the same color. And I absolutely love layering scarves on top of knits that are the same color because I just think it gives you outfits such a cozy, cozy feel. And this was just so chic. It was cropped, so I was like, it's not terribly practical for autumn, if I'm honest, but I will definitely look out for something a bit longer so that I can kind of recreate this look. Just because cropped in autumn, for me, I don't really like wearing super cropped things, so I just don't think I would get so much wear out of it. Um, so that was it for Kos, and then after that, I headed over to our Kurtz. They're literally right next to each other, so it's super, super handy. And the first thing I picked out was this black knit. I do love their simple knits, and if you're watching this now, they have discount on 20% over £40, I believe for a few days and I also tried on these gorgeous grey trousers I feel like these trousers would be perfect if you are working in an office because they're really chic but they're just a bit trendy because they're not so tight they're a little bit baggy on the legs I wouldn't say baggy they're just quite wide which I think is quite cool especially paired with like a shirt and a blazer on top and the next thing I tried on was this gorgeous pico I have some coats in this uh, print which I really like and I always wear it's just something a little bit different to your usual block colors and it's super timeless this comes around every single season but I really love the shape of this coat I think it was really really nice this was a size extra small I believe um so it was a bit small the next thing I tried on was this brown I don't know what it was to be honest but it was a bit weird it was really chic but it was very rigid, and again, I probably wouldn't have got that much wear out of it. The only thing I liked about it was the colour. I thought the colour was gorge. And then I headed over to the last stop of the day, which was Massimo Duty. They had the viral cardigan. I'm personally not a fan. If you follow me on TikTok, you saw I did not review it very well, because I just think the outside doesn't look very good quality, and it'll wear so, so badly for the price. So I picked up some really really cute bits though i got this i feel like massimo duty really nailed that jackets especially like the cropped small jackets that they are so famous for first one i tried on was this white one it kind of reminds me of like a teddy coat but like a chic version because it's kind of like that 
material as a teddy coat um I really liked it I love like kind of like winter white so I feel like this would be really nice for an all-white outfit and it just fitted so nicely and the collar as well this one I tried on is also quite similar um very similar fabric and again I love this kind of brown color very autumnal very very chic and again you just throw it on and it just looks really nice even if you just wear an all-black outfit with like a bag and some gold accessories I think that'd just be such a nice outfit altogether the next thing I tried on is something I have so similar in my wardrobe I wanted to try it on to show you guys it's this black cardigan jacket so it's not a cardigan actually it is a jacket but these are so timeless and I think again they're perfect if you work in an office and even coming into the winter I'm just gonna wear mine done up like that and just throw a coat on top so you can just get maximum wear out of it I just think they are so chic and they really give you that very elegant put together vibe the last thing I tried on it's not normally that I would something I would pick up but I saw Celine did a jumper like it recently and I was like, okay, let's try it on. And I probably won't wear this in London, but I feel like coming into Christmas, if you've got like a snowy holiday coming up or you're going somewhere really cozy, I think this would be so, so nice. It was so soft and I absolutely love the print and it does look really expensive as well. Um, so I think if you kind of had that kind of holiday coming up or if you live in a more cozy area, I think this would be so perfect. Hey guys, I'm back from the shops. I literally ran home and put my cozies on straight away because the weather outside right now is miserable. It's, or it's, now it's half past three. It is dark. It is completely raining. So I was just like, I need to just feel cozy. Um, but I hope you enjoyed all the things I showed you. I feel like there were actually some really nice pieces. My favorite selection was definitely from Massimo Duty, but I feel like always, I feel like they do the nicest things. I really, really, really like their designs, especially during autumn. I just love the little coats that they have. Everything that I've shown you is gonna be linked down below in the description box. Sorry, Good morning guys it is a new day i just got my hair done and it's absolutely pouring with rain outside so it's already like ruined but basically i just cut like this much off and re-dyed it as it was going really really red and also trimmed my bangs a little bit but as you can see it's a bit messy right now so miserable outside and it's not stopped raining all day but i picked up a spicy tuna on the way home which is literally my go-to lunch i absolutely love it if you've not tried it from join the juicer you need to try it i literally never used to eat um canned tuna and it just gave me the ick but i literally made myself like this sandwich I tried it a few times and i was always like a bit unsure and then eventually i now i crave it all the time mmm this is a good one. Mm. I really like when the bread is crispy, but not too crispy. Like when it's perfectly toasted, so there's like some bread in the middle. And I also take the pesto out. Some people think this is really weird, but I just don't like the pesto. It's not that I don't like it, I just find like I don't need it. Mm. It's so good. A spicy tuna with no pesto. And I add avocado slices. Try it and let me know. Mm -mm -mm. I'm on now. It's Wednesday. And my dinner last night was so cute. We had like fish and chips, which you saw. I inserted like a little montage earlier. It was so cute. I never have fish and chips. Like, it's never something I really crave. But when I have it, I really like it. Do you guys like fish and chips? I just feel like it's never my go-to meal because I just feel like it's a bit like meh like it's okay just i like spicy food and i like food with a lot of flavor or i like like pasta or pizza but fish and chips never really at the top of my list but i really enjoyed it i think because when you don't have it a lot it's nice to have once in a while it was really cute and the vibe was really really pretty they did it so well plan for the rest of the day is i'm going to finish this do some work and then from three onwards i've got events i have a event with joe malone and then with colt maya colt mia and then a party with anin bing which is really cool really nice brand so i'm very excited um anin bing a couple of my friends are going to paulina and ivona are going to be there so i like when i know someone there because especially at a party i don't like want to be alone i am ready to go out Oh, it's miserable outside. Honestly, 
Sorry for that. I'm sorry for screaming, you guys. But it's so much fun outside. And all I want to wear is pyjamas. Really cosy pyjamas and stay at home and so far. But alas, we're going out. Uh, guys, it's literally... Guys, back when I've got my lights on. It's 2.30 and it's dark. Anyway, I'm not even going to talk about it because it's just depressing. Anyway, let me just show you my OOT day. I can't stop speaking in a Sith African accent. Or maybe it's Australian. Anyway, um, I another coat I've rediscovered. This is from Max & Co. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I say I rediscovered it because like I said earlier, all my coats were my nan's house. But yeah, I think this is absolutely stunning. I'm just going to pair it with some boots. Because again, when it's just raining, I just can't... Your girl is not in the mood to dress so cool. Because I just need to put coat on. Because I'm not going to take it off anyway. So as long as my coat is chic, and she is chic, then we're good to go. Um, I just put on a brand new lip... I need to stop speaking in South African. Or whatever I'm speaking um, I just put on a brand new lip combo. I feel like the colours in this camera are not doing it justice, but it's basically Anastasia Beverly Hills liner in deep taupe. And then this brand new Hourglass lipstick called Crave. Um, really nice combo. I feel like it does not look nice. It doesn't look nice in the camera, but it's nice in real life, I promise. It's like a really nice brown. <laughs> Good morning guys. I'm sat here with my beanie on at home because I just got back from the gym. Well, I didn't just get back, but I got back like half an hour ago this morning. So yesterday I went to a couple of events which I showed a little few clips and then I went to an Ian Bing event which was so nice because so many people were there that I knew. And I got the Kate Moss bag. I'm gonna do an uh, unboxing shortly once I've got ready because it's so cool and I want to show you guys. That I have my massive tub of peanut butter. And I'm gonna give my doggy some. Do you want some peanut butter? I honestly, I wanted to film this because I find it so funny when dogs eat peanut butter. Now me. Because it's so sticky, their mouth gets like so stuck. Yummy. Yummy. Look how long his tongue is. It's coming out so wide. Well, he eats that. I was supposed to wake up. I had a gym class book today for 7.30 and my alarm went off at 7. And I just couldn't. Like, I never really sleep through my alarm. But my alarm was going off for a good, like, few rings. And I was like, you know when you kind of integrate it into your dream? And I was like, oh, shit, that's my alarm. Anyway, I turn it off. And then I realized I had, like, 10 minutes to get to my class. Um, so... <laughs> they yummy um so i had to cancel it last minute and then i rebooked pilates like half an hour later so i went to reform pilates at one rebel um it's really good i mean it depends what kind of pilates you like it's not like relaxing it's more like fast pace but i i like it there so yeah i did that and i can you can just see i'm so tired because after my event last night we went for some drinks with the like with Ivona and Paulina and it was really nice we went to Bartermini which is a place in Soho I always go to I really like it it's really cozy it's like an Italian place we didn't get in late or anything but I just feel like when you've had a few drinks you've been out all day you really just feel so tired the next day don't you don't you oh you're you cute why are you so cute so anyway I have a few things to do on my laptop this morning and I'm going to take him for a W. I can't say the W word because if you have a dog, you know he's going to get excited and we're not going right now. Good evening, guys. Why am I saying good evening? It's, oh my God, I'm saying good evening because it is 2.30 and it's a bit dark in here. That's why. I swear, yesterday I took my dog for a walk. No, at 2.30 because the weather was so rubbish. It was like already getting dark. So um, I then took my dog for a walk at half four before my events. And I was like, oh, this is fine. This can be his evening walk before I go out. And then I checked the time and it was 4.30. And I was like, what on earth? I thought it was like eight o'clock at night because it had already been dark for so many hours. Um, but anyway, I have come on here because I wanted to show you the onion bing bag that I got. Um, it is here. I was just filming some tiki tockies. Tiki tock, tiki tockies. Oh my God, you could fit in here. That would be cute. You could fit in here. Do you want to use this as your donkey bag? <laughs> Only joking, because it's 
way too nice to be a little dog bag. Anyway, here she is. It's like, they have it, so this is like the pay, patent one, um, but they do have it in matte as well. I think this is so friggin' cool. It has the Anin Bing logo here. And you know how kind of like the brand new Loewe bags and like kind of the Chanel bag, they have this kind of ruching design. So I think it's very on a trend right now. And it's got this gorgeous, gorgeous chain strap. But what I love about it, it's so light. So I feel like it's literally the perfect everyday bag, like to kind of like just throw everything in and go. Cause there's so much room. It's really, really big inside. Um, so if you're looking for like a really cool um, office bag or something like that, I'm definitely gonna use it to travel and just days where I have to just carry a lot of stuff. I feel like I'm actually always carrying quite a lot of stuff in London. So if I'm going out to shoot, then I've got like a million things or if I travel, then I've got my laptop and everything. But I just think this is so cool. It actually fits, it fits so comfortably on your shoulder as well. But yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed. I'll leave it linked below, but yeah, I love it so much i think it's a really well i met my well, i've just done like three different accents in one little sitting oh my god okay <laughs> very cute i like it we'll leave it at linked below um so yeah what i wanted to show you was a christmas fragrance from joe loves they kindly sent it to me but i've literally been having this every single year and last year i had it in the form of a diffuser and it is incredible so basically you don't even know what i'm talking about so one sec so it's a christmas candle first of all it's actually so stunning they've made the design so nice this year um but it smells like fresh Christmas trees <sighs> so good like honestly they have nailed it every year they come up with the same one it is literally called Christmas trees obviously and it's so good mm. so oh if you want your house to smell like fresh Christmas trees then you need to buy it I'm obsessed I'm like is it too early I feel like by the time Christmas comes it will be done if I start burning it now I know so if if you pass by a store or something, I would definitely go try it out. It literally smells like a fresh Christmas tree. It's so good. But yeah, I really wanted to show you that in case you were looking for a nice Christmas candle for the house. 